Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge outdoor wall sconce to, called the Toro. And this is going to be one where the glass slides in from the top. Uh, this is the 36001. This is the smallest of that series. It is 11 inches tall, 7 inches wide, has a projection of 7.5 inches from the wall out. And the mounting height is going to be 4.9 inches from the bottom of the fixture to the middle of your electrical outlet box. And a good way for you to see a little more detail on that is to look at the install sheets. And how we're going to do that, you have to be on the page for this fixture on our site, handmadeinvermont.com. Over on the right-hand side of your screen, midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say, click here for installations instructions PDF. So if you click on that and open it up, those are the papers that are going to be in the box when you get this. They show a lot of good information, and some of that's going to be just uh, basic stuff like the... Uh, the uh, parts list, how the glass slips down, slips down inside. Uh, it's going to show you the back plate and how that back plate goes onto your junction box. So take advantage of that. It's going to be on all, pretty much all of the Hubbardton Forge pages. If you don't see it on any of those pages, you can always email me and I can send it over to you. Okay? Back plate is actually five inches tall by 6.5 inches. No, I'm sorry. Five inches wide, 6.5 inches tall. You're going to need to know that because if you're going to be putting this into clabbered or shingles on the side of your building or house, you're going to have to cut a block. So you obviously want to make it like an inch bigger. So like six inches by 7.5 is the block size you'd want to cut. Some people may even want bigger than that. Or if you're putting this over or and attaching it to an existing block, that's what you really want to know. Very important for you guys. Um, I'll touch on the glass really quick. So this is actually off the bigger version of this, but it's the same kind of general setup. Very sturdy, hand-blown glass, open on the bottom. And this will be important uh, when we talk about bulbs in two seconds, and I'll get into glass later on. But the, um, what's inside of this is a medium base socket, just like this guy. Hubbardton Forge says this can go up to 100 watts for incandescent. And incandescent is, you remember the old bulbs we used to use when we were kids? Most of you guys are going to be using LEDs now. So that old bulb is an A19 size. This is just the regular bulb size. You can find LEDs in the same size without a problem. However, you know, the glass on this is like 8 in a 8.12 inches tall. So it's about yay big, 4.5 inches wide. So you should be able to get even if you want to go bigger than this, an A21 bulb is the next step up. And an A21 put them side by side. You see it's a little bit bigger. I can find this LED up to a 100 watt equivalent if I go looking out of the internet. I can find this LED, which is called an A21, up to a 150 watt equivalent. So I can get a lot of light out of this if I want to. Um, it's a dimmable fixture, so if you want to get dimmable bulbs, just make sure you do that. They're very important. And I touch on the color temperature a lot in my videos, and I talk about how I like the warmth of an incandescent bulb. Remember the ones when we were heading when we were kids, these guys? So that nice warm glow. That's going to be 3,000 Kelvin. That's the light that's coming down on my hands right now from LEDs above me. And I tend to favor that. Some people out there in the world like that whiter light, like you're in a doctor's office. Some people like that. And that's going to be 4,000, 5,000 Kelvin. So when you guys are out buying light bulbs, just make sure you look in the box by the color temperature you are looking for. Or if you're online, it'll tell you right off the bat it, uh, what that color temperature is. And there you go. So some people are also going to be putting this like on a back porch or a covered porch or on their pool. If you're going to be doing that, put it on a dimmer. So you can and buy a dimmable bulb. So you can dim these things down to make them almost like candlelight if you guys are out there with your friends after dinner and you're just enjoying the coffee and talking, that kind of stuff. You don't want the glare of a light. And it's so easy to put these things on a dimmer with the dimmer being on the inside of the, of the structure. So just a little tidbit there, okay? So I want to touch on Hubbardton Forge's glass for just a second. Hubbardton Forge's opal glass is not just another piece of white glass. This is actually hand-blown glass. All of their glass is hand-blown. And to begin with, it's actually a clear piece of glass to start with. And then they come in, they blow a second layer on the inside of white glass. Then they come back and they do a third step where they sandblast the entire outside. So you'll notice when you get these in your hands, they actually have layers of glass on them on the end. You can see them on these two pieces. And it gives it this really soft, uh, semi-transparent, kind of milky quality. It's, it's a soft, soft glowing piece. Really, really pretty. You know, they're really obsessed about details at Hubbardton Forge, and a lot of people don't, um, I don't think they appreciate it out in the world, but you appreciate it because that's why you guys are here watching this video. There you go. Let's talk about something else. Uh, same kind of idea. Um, they only use aircraft-grade aluminum to make all of their outdoor lighting, and the reason they do that is because 
Aluminum holds up better than any other material in harsh, extreme weather. When you go out and you're out in the world, look up and you'll see those jet airlines flying up there way above your head. They're all made out of aluminum for a reason because it holds up beautifully, it welds beautifully, it doesn't rust, it's very light, and it's just the best material to use outside. So on top of that, they have developed these outdoor baked epoxy powder coats that can go over this and um, make them pretty much indestructible and we're going to talk about that right now. So how they do this, you'll notice in the picture next to me, there's a picture of a woman and uh, she's actually shooting uh, powdered finish at the fixture and they take the fixture, let's say this is the fixture to begin with, okay? They wire it up with a wire here, wire coming down, they run a small amount of electricity through it to make it positive. And what that does, it makes it attract everything around it. So when she's over there spraying little bits of powdered finish, what it's going to do, it's going to go over the entire fixture. It's going to get into every nook, every cranny, top, bottom, sides, the whole thing. They're going to take that fixture, they're going to put it into an oven. That's going to melt that down and, turn, and make it into a hard epoxy shell. And it makes it you know, incredibly strong. <clears throat> because they do this, and these things have been tested in these wind chambers where they have shot you know, salty uh, seawater at them, basically, because that's what's going to happen on a beach, right? Where a lot of these things are going to end up. They had to really do that to make sure that they're going to hold up for you. And because they do have done that, they offer the best uh, warranty for the entire lighting industry. And you can see that over on the, the left-hand side of your screen. Limited lifetime warranty for residential use. And check it out, and it'll really make you feel better about their products. Okay. Moving on from there, why don't we talk about our showroom in Vermont. We have over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We actually have a What's On display page on our website. It's over in the red tabs over on the left-hand side of your screen, so you can open up that and check it out. Showroom has also a clearance center. So clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's an amazing deal for you. It's returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. If you guys are going to come visit us, do me a favor. Bring a big SUV, <laughs> if you can, if you have one, only because the boxes are set up for shipping. Uh, measure everything you can think of. So measure with a measuring tape. Measure your ceilings. Measure counters, tables, distances between junction boxes and things like ceilings. Because if you're looking, you want to make sure when you're looking at these things that they're going to be able to be used by you for your needs. Okay? Um, and then um, also bring an iPad. If you guys are doing a project and you have a tablet laying around at home, take pictures with that. Take pictures and, and you can bring that tablet in and we can go through all those pictures together and look and see what you guys are doing and I can help you out on that, okay? So when you buy your Hubberton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont and we're the only dealer with 90 day returns and no restocking fees. No one else does that. Some larger items, generally big things on pallets and custom things are going to be non-returnable. We'll always tell you that on the page for it so just keep your eyes peeled for that. And then on top of all that, we offer a rush program. So in order for you to get all of these different finishes, Hubberton Forge doesn't stock. It takes generally about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it is super, super inexpensive. A lot of people don't even know about it. If you want to know about it, the best thing to do is just drop me a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. You can also call 802-446-2400 during business hours. And so I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time if you guys want to talk to me. And then you can email us, uh, you know, seven days a week at sales at handmadeinvermont.com and we spell out the word Vermont. So I think that kind of wraps things up on this. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know. Thank you for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.